Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from PBC Northgate. Here we share God's Word, meditate together and pray. We are looking at the subject, Hebrew 1.14, angels are ministering spirits sent to help out the ones whose salvation is a gift, the ones who have decided that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Now these angels carry out God's bidding, but they do it above human power, above demonic power, and they are very efficient. We see one such angel in the book of Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 24. The background to this story, David is king over Judah and Israel. He's feeling comfortable, and God has given him victory over many battle lines. And he's set in his temple, meaning in his, uh, in his uh, palace, and he sends out his commanders to count Israel's fighting men. Now, this was a kind of a rebuke to God because it's like the king is saying, now I have fighting men in the land. I no longer need to worry about uh, God helping us out. And so this uh, command actually was resisted. Verse 3, 2 Samuel 24, 3, Job asked the king, May the Lord your God multiply the troops a hundred times over. May the eyes of the Lord the king see it. But why does the Lord the king want to do such a thing? So people try to counter and tell David, you are making a mistake, but because he was the king and overall commander, he insisted. And uh, uh, Joab and his team went out and counted all the fighting men, 20 years and more, counted them in Judah, counted them in Israel. So when the counting had happened, even David realized he had done a mistake. And the seer God, called God, who was a prophet of God, came to visit David in verse 13. So God went to David and said to him, Shall there come on you three years of famine in the land, or three months of fleeing from your enemies while they pursue you, or three days of plague in your land? Now then, Think it over and decide how I should answer the one who sent me. In other words, God was now going to punish the king. And he gave him three options. Run uh, away from your enemies. Number two, the famine in the land. Number three, an angel released against the people of Israel. David thought it over in the night. And he said in verse 14, I'm in deep distress. Let us fall into the hands of the Lord. For his mercy is great. Don't let us fall into human hands. Verse 15. So the Lord sent a plague on Israel from that morning until the end of the time designated, which is three days. And 70,000 of the people from Dan to Beersheba died. When the angel stretched out his heart to destroy Jerusalem, the Lord relented concerning the disaster and said to the angel who was inflicting the people, Enough, withdraw your hand. The angel of the Lord was then at the threshing floor of Araun at the Jebusite. An amazing story. David was in error. He had done that which shouldn't be done because his strength, he's the one who wrote Psalms 121. I look to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. But now he has counted the fighting men, found them to be hundreds of thousands, and was starting to gain confidence in human strength. He was shifting his focus from God to human strength. And God said, I'm going to punish him. I'm going to give him a famine for three years or three months from, of learning from his enemies or three days of a plague. It's an angel who was sent. In three days, the angel went across the road and he destroyed 70,000 Israelites. Let me ask you, calamities and disaster, they are supervised by God's angels. And they can be for or against, depending what you are or what side you are doing. Three things we learn from this story. Number one, it's good to listen to godly counsel. Because Job had told David, let's not count the men. Number two, when David was faced with the three consequences, famine, all enemies, all the hand of God against him, he said, let me fall into the hands of the Almighty because he's merciful. So we learn that it is better to be punished by God than to be left to men because God is massive. Listen to the classic answer that David gave in verse 14. 
He said, verse 14, he said, let us fall into the hands of the Lord. His mercy is great. Even in sin, he knew that God's mercy was great. And last, last thing on this passage is that one angel can uh, cause 70,000 people to die. From the Israelite point of view, it looked like a plague. From God's point of view, it was an angel of death who had been sent out. So even now, this year we have had corona, many people have died. Really, from a spiritual perspective, is the hand of God against the nations. For whatever it is that men have done, but uh, God is able to send out an angel and uh, the angel becomes a destroyer of lies. Let us be people who listen to godly advice, people who are Godward, and people who know that God has the means to accomplish his purpose, even sending out of plagues and destroying of enemy forces. Father, we thank you for this word and the way that is, the story is inscribed in, in the passages of scripture. We know it's uh, profitable for our training, for our rebuke, for our correction, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. May these stories revive in us the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. And may we know that if God promises it, God has the power to deliver, but also he's a merciful God. And we learn to him and we cry to him. May you come down, dear Lord, and fight our battles to the glory of your name. And this prayer we make in Jesus' name. Lord bless you and thank you so much for tuning in.